Welcome back again my friend. We're going to continue our project the farm project This is the exercise that we are doing on the vector rise and I'm very happy and excited to show you all the techniques the ones that's going to blow your mind right and we're going to polish more the design add details coloring use the new tools on the finish too and my friend you're gonna learn how to use textures on affinity 2 using the raster persona my friend if you're ready to start let me know on the shot okay and leave the like and let's get started to the vectorize and what i will do guys it is basically this i'm going to select this area this group here all right and then i'm going to do this i will click this group go here click in quad and then I will just make this more into this perspective as you see I'm changing right this as quad I look the how this change everything that we are doing here now I'm gonna use the quad and then I will change a little bit the perspective just to have this more interesting result like, like this is fine also we can select for example this front view with the front part which is this one using now the quad we can also change this but just keep in mind about this decision if we, we apply like that it's going to uh, we need to fit this as well so I will do something like this and also this one here this part with this area or these ones I'm going to use the quad and also fit this into here oh look I'm changing to make this as much stylized as we can or here and then I can for example let's try to create a, a node here look how nice is this node here and we can deform oh this is this is fabulous all right this is so nice oh, I can change here to be like that this is really cool and to have more um, deformations I like this I want to have this deformations to make it more uh, old I'd say from this make sure to select the warp group and then you can convert all to curves everything now it is pure vector which means that now look you can change in the way that it is in this moment this is what we want we want to make this more stylized as possible we want to have this feeling of organic results this reminds me the Klaus design the style from from that movie which is very awesome very great look at this I'm going to add a bit of curve here very small and so to curvy like this and then I'm gonna use the knife tool at this moment or oh, knife tool you can find here knife and then I will start to add some kind of you're gonna see minor effects here and then I will delete this and then you're gonna have this result nice also I can add the knife tool in these areas or like this here and I'll delete these guys here oh look can you see it's very important that you add these small details that is going to make your design more stunning of course it depends about the style that you are creating but this kind of decisions that you can do it's going to really change the game of your project if we compare right now this part of the project all right if we compare this part of the project with the very first one oh this one 
it was kind of boring, right? Of course, uh, it's more simplified, but this one here, it's bring more dynamic level. Okay, you can go with this level of very simplified. However, this one brings more emotion, more attention. You know, it's it's a kind of the house we have more expression to it. This is incredible. Finally, my friend, it is time to make the coloring. I understand that many people will struggle to reach these results. I know it is hard, it is difficult, but that's why I'm here, my friend. That's why you are watching me until now, right? To understand the principles, the foundations to make vector easy. Okay, my job here is to help you with that. And of course, if you want to support more of my work, if you want to get my new masterclass, I will be very happy to see you learning a lot in that course that I made for you. Because it's on there that I explain everything related to the tools, the functionalities of Affinity. So let's apply the coloring, my friend. In that case, let me make a backup of this uh, project uh, just to have you know this process here so you can follow me what is happening. The color is gonna be very easy, all right? And I'm gonna use the vector fluid fill with you to show you how we can make the colors in just a matter of clicks. To apply the colors is gonna be very simple. I'm gonna use the vector fluid fill and then I'll make sure that I have this option that's called knockout enabled. This option here, right? Also you have here this option that's called inside and another in between. I will leave the inside. Okay, I will select the group and then I can do this. I can basically select the color that I want to, to bring in my design and I wanna use a color like this and make sure, let me see here. Oh. I'm gonna use the in between, okay? In between, knockout, and few visible boundaries, like this. And then I will do this result here. I'll paint, I will paint more red. Oh, more red to this. Finding a color that I feel happy. Oh, this one, I like it. And then I'm gonna make this a bit dark and fill this area right here. Oh, here we go. Make this more in white to yellow, and then I will fill this area here. Took here. Oh, nice. I'm gonna make this more, I think, yellow tonality, tonality here. This one. Make this a bit darker. Can you see? I'm making this lighter and this side more darker. Oh, this one looks nice. Here. And I will make this more brown uh, i like this tonality if you ask me hey john how do you come up with this kind of you know coloring my friend try can you see i'm uh, managing and then i try if i like i leave if i don't like i remove and try another one here oh, i like this more a uh, brown here oh look at this my friend and then i will Few more these two white or this area here. Tuk, 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 or click, click, click. My friend, the results is becoming more and more nice. I will fill this area. This is more uh, bluish gray, not very undersaturated. I will few more this like that. Or oh, clicking just to find a nice color and let's try, try this to be more dark perhaps oh this area i need to mm, interesting very interesting you need to find a good balance oh there we go i'm trying to just paint this area but it's painting out here and i need to make sure that this is closed enough all right need to make sure that these shapes are closed and let's try now to to paint ah now it's working this is what we want we want things working my friend like that and the shape i'm considering to make a bit more white i like this most this one i will make like that can you see the coloring you know, becomes really easy with this tool, which is very nice. We have here some lines inside. If I select this, let me add this to selection. This, 
I will remove the fuel. There is a fuel here. There we go. And of course, I need to paint this area in the middle. Add some lines here inside. Probably add like this. And like that. Yeah, because I want to follow something like this. Guys, finally in this stage, I'm going to blow your mind with what I will show you in this tutorial. And please, if you enjoy this part that I'm going to show you, leave it a like and comment here, my friend, because I will be very happy to see what you think about this process. Let's get started. First of all, I want to remove the outlines, all right? I want to remove these outlines and select the group and swipe up to have these results. This is what I want. Now, I want to start to make some texturing here. I want to add textures in this design. I want to make it this even better than what we have at this moment. Let's try something different, something more, a bit more advanced. Not too difficult, but a bit more advanced for you. I will select first this roof here. I will just select this layer as you see now, this one. And then I will use three fingers, swipe down and click here solo. We're gonna have this isolated, this is what we want. And then I also want to select this area here as one single layer. For make this, I will swipe down with three fingers and then I will make sure that I have here in this part, the selection from layer, okay? Which is this one here. It's called selection from layer. If I click here, I think it will make this a selection, okay, this layer as one selection. After that, I can select a brush that I like. All right, I will select this one. And look at this, I can start to paint here inside. Guys, look how nice, look how nice is this. I'm painting because I've selected this area and I'm painting inside of this selection. If I go back here, for example, to solo, look at the textures ap appearing here. This is fabulous. I love that because it brings more the aspect of coloring. It's more natural. This is what we want. We want to make this, oh, we add a bit more tonality, uh, red tonality here on top. And look, something like this. Can you see? Make this a dark and add this area. Hey John, which brush you are using? I'm using my Ultimate Affinity brushes that you can get on my masterclass, my friend. Here we go. Now I'm going to do the same for this element. I will swipe three fingers down, select from layer, and then I will start to paint here. Oh, look. Tuk, tuk, oh. Oh. Shadows being applied here, no worries. You can do this. Also, you can see that it's not applying here. You need to select this selection from layer and took huh. this is one of the best techniques to make paintings using vector right trust me let me do this with you selection from layer and I will adjust some small texture in here oh, something like that here to be more you know, organic as possible Like that. A little bit of textures here. There we go. Nice. And then I will select this area here. We can go selection from, you know, uh, layer. And then I will paint this area right here. Look how this is becoming stunning. I'm not saying that this is better than the pure vector or clean result no this is not my you know my point is that if you explore different methods like I'm doing here you you're going to have different art aspect not only pure vector all right you can explore other things as well and I'm considering to have a more flat result let me undo here I want to do just one brush stroke to be like that and then I can add more brush strokes 
like this it's fine I also will try to add here inside oh, three fingers uh, swipe down select from layer and then you can start to paint here I'm painting this layer and painting here as well nice I can add here a little bit you can add like that and erase in this in this area as well no worries you can always do this oh look don't be afraid to make mistakes like I'm doing I, I'm not afraid to make mistakes I'm just doing and see what happens that's why I feel like my creativity comes when I am not with fear fear and creativity doesn't work well they are very opposite here we go like that I love it and I want to also paint this era selection from layer and there we go let's try to make this more like that on here let me change the background first of all I want to change the background to make something let's try the blue let's imagine this context here I like this green somehow I love it let's keep it this way let me continue to paint of course I will get not like this in white and then I can start to paint more this area and paint here you can use a very small brush stroke just to add this kind of a line you see here oh. this will add more textures to it nice my friend look at this my friend leave it a like if you enjoyed this tutorial um i will now just select these lines that i have can you see these lines and then i'm going to go here select same or move to select the curve one single curve of this vector same and then go here in stroke weight I can now change this to something for example like this oh, this now becomes really nice I can have this result as you can see uh, we have outline being placed we can remove the outline or we can keep it it really depends I like both but let's keep it that way for now also here we have this like same stroke color it's going to select all the lines that we have and then I'm going to have this darker result. I don't want to have full black. I want to have something in between like this. Then I will start just to give a little bit of painting or uh, just to polish a bit more. Our design result, for example, let me use this brush here that I have. And then I'm going to use and create Let me create a new layer here for now. Test a different color composition and then I want to do this I'm adding some highlights nice. Very nice in this area as well I'm going to add a little bit of lights these are going to make the design more stunning oh look I will add in this way because for me it's easier here in this area as well and then you can have this you know, effect here, this kind of light glowing up more our design. But look how this adds more depth to, to these areas. Here, I'll add a little bit here. Nice. Look at this, guys. Let me change a little bit again the background color and let's try the blue now i'm feeling more comfortable with this the green was a bit aggressive to my eyes somehow the blue seems more friendly i will add the ground for now just to make it in green 
and let's add a gradient. And here we go. Let's expand this composition. Not very saturated, neither strong. I like it. This one here. Guys, look at this. this Guys, finally, we have just completed one more lesson here on the Vectorize channel. I'm very happy with this project. Look at this. It's a very complete project that we explored the drawing process, the values process. Remember about that. We started like this, then applying the contrast, and then we go with the vector lines, and then we move it to a more polished design. And then we started to uh, create more details. As you can see, we have moved it from this to this design all right as you can see and then we have applied the coloring with lining line art in vector and then we have moved it to the paintings as you can see all right this is a very full complete project that we made here on the vectorize channel and i hope that you learned a lot in this tutorial that i made for you guys i want to thank you so much for your time all right for watching me uh during these lessons that i made here for you and if you want to learn much more than this you can get my uh finished masterclass course all right and also you can join to my club in order to get my feedbacks and reviews well uh, that's it for now all right if you want to learn much more i'll leave the links available all in the description below all right guys Thank you so much again for your time and your efforts to stay here with me and I hope that you enjoyed and learned a lot of new techniques and explore here the power of using Affinity and do art, doing something that you love to do. Guys, thank you and I hope to see you in the next tutorial. Thank you and bye bye. Take care.